Okay, so I have a cart of mass five kilograms. It's at rest and we hit it with a variable force causing it to accelerate. We don't have to worry about friction. And I have a little complication here. These are kilonewtons, in other words, thousands of newtons. So this really stands for 3,000, 2,000, and 1,000 newtons. And I wanna get the total work done on the cart. So for that first question, it's just the area bounded by the force position graph. All right, so compute the work done on the cart. Well, it's just the area. So I have something I don't need calculus for. So 1 half times the base times the height. And that looks like 15,000 joules. So compute the final speed of the cart. So we're using the work energy theorem here. Um, that just means the work that's done on an object is reflected in, in its kinetic energy. So I'm going to start with this. And delta always means final minus initial. And my initial kinetic energy was zero. It was motionless. So this is kind of our simplest case. The total amount of work done is going to be equal to 1 half times the mass times the final speed squared. If I go ahead and solve symbolically for Vf, I'd multiply both sides by 2. And I get a 2w over m to isolate Vf squared, and then I'd have to square root it. So plugging all that in, I got 15,000 total work um, done. I don't know why I put that first. And then multiply by 2 and then divide by the mass and square root it okay so this force operating over a distance of 10 meters but varying the way it did gives me a final speed of 77.5 if I just keep three sig figs 77.5 meters per second 